people think self-driving cars are science fiction. But the reality is that already today we are testing self-driving cars like the one behind me in real traffic on roads in Gothenburg, Sweden. So right now we're in the prototype vehicle and we're driving in Gothenburg on a typical road that a lot of people use for their daily commuting. And I can show how to activate the system. One simple press on a button and the car will take over the braking the accelerating, but also the steering. In this case, I still will have to supervise the system because this is an early prototype. But our intention is that in the final product, a driver can actually release the steering wheel without having to supervise, such that he or she can do something else with their time. The car uses radar, camera and LiDAR technology to monitor the actual environment around the car. The sensing has to be so robust that drivers can rely on the car to drive in a safe way. It also uses a map of the roads that we're traveling on. So we use a communication link between the Volvo Cloud and this vehicle in order to get the latest map data to this vehicle. We do analysis on traffic safety and we've done so for many years. And we know from this analysis that almost all collisions that occur are caused by human error. If you would automate driving, you take away the causes of many accidents and you can make traffic safer. It's great to be in Sweden because in Sweden we have a very good cooperation with the road authorities. And this is crucial for bringing self-driving cars to the market. At Volvo Cars we have the objective in 2017 to actually bring 100 self-driving cars to our customers on real roads here in Gothenburg. 